What's up guys, Anthony here, Special Analysis. Hope you're having a wonderful day. I want to talk about the profit pack here. So I get a lot of questions of, you know, is this only designed for day trading, right? Like, you know, can this only be used for somebody who's going to sit at the computer, uh, you know, actively for several hours a day? And the answer to that question is no, right? So just like any other chart, the SA bars, which is the foundation of the profit pack can be fully adjustable. Now, when you purchase the profit pack, I give you several setting recommendations. This is not gospel. It simply says, hey, Mr. or Mrs. Trader, this is an area or a speed of which you may want to start looking at the profit pack and then taking it to the next level by ultimately adjusting the speed to whatever makes you comfortable, right? At the end of the day, you have to be comfortable. You're the one that's making the end decision here. So this is on the, what we call either the extreme volatility or the, I call short-term swing trading setting here on the S&P 500. And you can see we were in a period down here of indecision at the beginning of the month. You can see I have a support line drawn down here. We had tested it. I simply drew a box around this very bottom candle here market pushes back up you can see that we get a trend change to the upside we pull back and we set a higher low after a test of this support area and from there impulse correct impulse correct massive impulse correction massive impulse from 652 ticks here on the s p 500 guys listen if you aren't the type of trader that holds a futures contract overnight or over the weekend, that's okay. Like this, this took 10 days to transpire, but you could very easily have bought a out of the money or in the money, whatever, call option. You could have sold a put. There's a bunch of different ways you can approach the market, right? You can say, all right, I'm going to buy an option. I'm going to buy options on futures contracts. I'm going to buy an option on the SPY, which is the ETF that tracks the S&P 500. There's a whole different, there's a whole slew of different ways that you can approach the market. The whole premise of what the profit pack is and what it's designed to do for you is to help you identify where a potential opportunity may be setting up. However, you want to take that information and then apply it to your strategy that you approach the market with, that's totally up to you. I'm not here to tell you how to do that, when to do that, where to do that, or what tools to do that with. I'm simply here to help you in the process of, from an educational standpoint, interpreting what the market is doing. And the Profit Pack makes that very simple. So five, it's designed to be used in five simple steps to trend change, follow through the, followed by a correction through the profit band, the trigger candle prints, which you can see I have identified here in this little circle. That's the trigger candle. Uh, you should not be risking more than the trigger candle itself as it's designed to find the low. Uh, and you should have a consideration for an entry at the top of the trigger candle. So in this situation, here's your trend change, right? Here's our impulse. Here's our shallower correction. We place a higher low. We place a trigger bar. Market impulses places a new high, corrects, places another new low. And we're off to the races here. So, guys, I, the reason I share this with you is I just believe that this will help you interpret the market from a more simplistic standpoint. And in doing that, I believe that you'll find a benefit, right? I mean, at the end of the day, we have to understand a few things. The market is driven by two components. Uh, volume is what drives the market. And these, the SA bars are volume-driven bars, okay? The, the SA bars move and print and the profit band prints based on volume that comes into the market. And then our next job is to interpret price action. Well, you could see that we had some a, a prior support down here that we retested, found support off of, and then we ultimately placed a higher low and went on to place a higher high, another higher low, so on and so forth. But again, this is this setup here is not necessarily designed for day trading. This setup here is more for the short-term swing trader or perhaps the options trader that is looking for quick returns within a handful of days. So this is six trading days. Um, 
10 total days, you know, counting weekends, so on and so forth. But I wanted to bring this to your attention because, again, a lot of folks ask me, is this only designed for the active day trader? And the answer to that question is no, right? It doesn't matter what tool you use to analyze the market. What matters is that, is that you can do it efficiently and effectively. Because in doing that, you can make the best decisions for yourself. So below this video, guys, there's a whole bunch of links. I encourage you to click on them. Consume the content about the Profit Pack. There's a training webinar. I encourage you to take the time to watch it. Send me an email with all your questions. I'd be more than happy to answer them for you. And if you're ready to get started, I can get you your downloads and your software license key within 24 hours, and you can have it in your hands for the following market day. So with that, guys, I wish you a uh, beautiful and blessed day. I look forward to seeing you in the next video, and I hope that you are enjoying your holidays.